Hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today we're going to be doing a, another a getting started tutorial, but this time it's going to be with Vulture instead of DigitalOcean. So to recap, this is going to be complementing my di DigitalOcean tutorial, but it's meant to cover Vulture instead. They're basically going to be the same tutorials, but one's about Vulture and one's about DigitalOcean. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, you're going to want to create an account. But before you do so, let me just say that if you do use my referral link in the description, you get $50 to try out the platform, and then I get $25. Again, it's a win-win. I think it's actually, they're matching DigitalOcean's offer too. That's why uh, this is a special offer from, from Vulture. But just remember, if you sign up using this referral link, you will get $50 just to try out the platform. It's a win-win, because then I get compensated with $25. All right, but anyways, go ahead, click that link in the description, go ahead, sign up, and then once you're signed up, you'll see a page that looks like this. And what you're gonna wanna do once you get to this page is go over to this little plus button here. It says deploy a new server when you uh, hover over it. Go ahead and click that. And now you'll be prompted with where you want to deploy your server. So basically, as I said in the last uh, DigitalOcean tutorial, this is where the server is going to be deployed and ran. So if you're just starting out, pick the uh, the server that's closest to you. In my case, I'm going to pick New York, New Jersey. Uh, I think the data center just overlaps in the regions. That's why it's New York, New Jersey. Or I think it's New York and New Jersey. I'm not really sure, but no, nevertheless, it's the uh, the closest data center to my house. And uh, next up on the list, we're going to want to choose our Linux distro or uh, BSD distro or uh, Windows here. So I don't recommend use Windows just because they charge you an extra $16 per month. It's definitely not worth it. And if you're just starting out, please use uh, Ubuntu here with the 1804 version ticked. And as you can see, something special about Vulture is that they have a $2.50 plan per month. Now, there is one drawback to using this plan, and that's you don't get an IPv4 address. You only get an IPv6 address. So if you're just starting out, use this $3.50 plan because you do get an IPv4 address. It just makes accessing the server a teeny bit easier. And uh, yeah, so again, for beginners, this is going to be plenty of resources, even though it doesn't look like that much because uh, Linux is really, really resource efficient and uh, it, it will barely use any of this. And yeah, that, that's enough to easily run a website, a blog, uh, yeah, anything with a small amount of traffic to a medium amount of traffic. All right, next up, we have uh, the additional features options. And I would go ahead and tick enable IPv6 just because it doesn't cost anything extra. Uh, and I would also tick these just because it doesn't cost anything extra. I wouldn't tick these because they do cost something extra. It's uh, pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. And yeah, maybe I'll cover those in a later video. All right, next up we have this startup script option. Just go ahead and ignore that. And now we have SSH keys. For simplistic sake, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, use my Mac SSH key. If you're just starting out, you don't really have to uh, have an SSH key just because it'll add a little complication to this. I will add a uh, another video later on that co covers uh, SSH keys. All right, next up we have firewall. Just go ahead and skip that, and now we're up to the host name. Basically, the host name is just going to be the name of the server. I'm going to go ahead and call mine test. All right, and as you can see, that one auto filled. Oh, and the uh, the distance the difference between host name and label is. Hostname is the actual name of the machine when you connect to it, and label is the name of the machine within the Vulture uh, control panel here. All right, now we can go ahead and click deploy, and I'll see you back in a minute. Now that the server is finished installing, we can go ahead and access it. So in order to access it, you're going to want to click the other uh, label here, which is test. Go ahead and click that. All right, now you're going to want to copy this IP address. All right, copy that. Now, you're going to want to open your, uh, your, your means of accessing SSH. So for me, since I'm on a Mac, I'm just going to open the terminal and type SSH, and I got SSH there. So in order to use SSH, it's going to be SSH, username, at hostname. All right, so we're going to want to replace 
username with root, as you can see here, that's the default user on the server. And we're gonna do at the host name, which is the IP address we just copied. Paste that and go ahead and click enter. And you'll get a little prompt here that uh, asks you to type yes or no. You're just going to want to type yes, then click enter. And for you, it's going to prompt you to enter your password, not not a passphrase. So to get that password, you're simply just going to want to copy this password here and paste it and click enter. And you'll hopefully be in your server. Now for me, since I added my SSH keys, I'm allowed to take a little shortcut here and just enter this password instead. And boom, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm now in my server. And yeah. Oh, and by the way, don't try to access this server because I'll, uh, I'll have it destroyed before I finish uploading this video. And yeah. So uh, stay tuned if you're interested in any of my other content. And uh, leave a like if you like the video. Thanks for watching.